Tradition Smoke is uh, my dance company and uh, we create a lot of uh, interdisciplinary dance performances uh, mostly on location. Uh, the concepts of my performances that I, I want to get close to people and um, I, I indeed wanna, want them to get out of their comfort zone so that they, um, or sometimes actually the opposite, that they arrive at a location that they kind of know already because people feel sometimes a lot of hesitation of like coming to the theater, so um, I like it when I arrive in a location just because of the location, even. And then I, you know, I have access to them. Like I can like reach them and touch them way easier than when we have this boundary of the theater codes. Oh, I actually really like it when it's on a weird location and when it's not in the theater. And uh, from there, I started doing it on purpose, actually. So it, it's, um, I, I did once or twice go back to the theater, but I was always a bit disappointed. <laughs> this performance is called Solid Maybe. And um, the concept of this piece started when I saw a list on Reddit that said places where reality feels different. And um, a lot of these places were liminal spaces. Um, and liminal spaces are places where you usually spend only a short amount of time or you're there at a different time. So then when you spend more time or a different hour of the day, the reality can feel altered. So it feels strange. And um, I was fascinated by this idea because I realized that these kind of places can sometimes be a trigger uh, for people with an uh, anxiety disorder, and including me. And because you start to wonder where am I and from there you start to wonder who am I and you get into this whole existential crisis. So from there uh, I thought I, I wanted to create a performance uh, about that and the whole performance is playing with your perception basically. So you're, you're literally in a parking garage um, and all of this is like to create this experience where you cannot really trust your senses. So it's, it's like you, you're not sure what is the correct uh, dance material or what is the correct way to feel when you look at it. So it's an hour long, a bit of a mind fuck, basically. <laughs> so, but you see in the end, you see three dancers and with two younger versions of themselves, like three students and three kids. Uh, you see them struggling through yeah, f this whole anxiety thing. Um, they've been stuck here for a while and they, they, they need to come out. Um, so they're trying to find a way to do that. I think you'll enjoy it. And um, I think it's also really uh, an interesting experience if you is yourself had some experience with anxiety or you know someone who experienced anxiety that yeah, it, I think it can help you understand it a little bit better or kind of understand how it can feel um, while looking at this performance.